So you've, you haven't been together that long, really. You've only been on the, on the scene for about a year, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just shy of a year. Well, you got off to a good start by the sounds of it. You sent us a tracking called Healthy Competition. That went down really well in our charts. Do you, do you lads have an album or an EP out at the moment? Uh, we've not got the EP at the moment. We've got one uh, that we're working on. I think Healthy Competition is going to be on there. Uh, it's one of our favourites. It seems to be a bit of a crowd favourite as well. It's a good tune, yeah. Our finish, our finishing song, yeah. Um, but yeah, we're, we're looking to try and do a bit of a video as well at the minute. Uh, get some proper photography done and, and then hopefully try and release this EP maybe in the next month or so, maybe six weeks. Excellent, you'll have to get into me when it's when it's when it's up. Yeah, definitely. Um obviously as a band you get out and about and you play on many stages and things like that. Looking round, who's impressed you so far on the Liverpool scene? Um we play with a band called Meet the Robots quite a bit. Great band. Uh, our, yeah. our bass is Chris. He's known um Matt McFly, Webster, uh, I think from school. So right. we're playing with those guys. They've got a really good like, raw punk energy sound about them. That's right. I've uh, seen them a few weeks ago. Band. Yeah, we've played with a band called Flux as well. Uh, they supported us at Maguire's a couple of months ago. The little uh, three-piece band. Uh, similar kind of thing. They've got this raw, like, post-punk kind of sound and, and attitude. It's a really good performance, really. There's a lot of that kind of sound going around at the minute, isn't it? It's, it's almost like if anything does come back, it's likely to be punk, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just seems to be going that way. There's a lot of, lot of bands popping up like that and a lot of people keen to see them, I think. Yeah, it's, it's very true. Um, now, I know you guys are playing our festival this year and it's great to have you on board. What else have you yeah, lads, yeah. What else have you lads been up to this year? I know you've got a couple of things coming up, haven't you? Yeah, we've got one tomorrow playing uh, Carnival in Oswald's Whistle. Uh, so we've, we've got that tomorrow afternoon playing at four o'clock. Uh, we're also playing Jupiter's uh, on Tuesday. I think we're on from about nine o'clock. That's uh, that's another place that we've played before. We know uh, Joe Quinn that owns it. And, yes, he's uh, uh, really good. We've done from quite a few bands for him. He's been a face in Liverpool. He's great. Yes, he's um, good. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he holds nights at the Zanzibar as well. So played a couple of gigs there. That's always a good venue. Who else is on the bill with that for you? Uh, I'm not too sure about Tuesday. Um, I think the the post is actually coming out today for it. So I'm not too sure of any support bands at the minute. Actually, in, fa- uh, in fairness, in fairness, hey. he's just—he's actually only just tagged me on the post. Um, oh, let me see. I'll tell. I'll tell you now. Um, that's it. We have Socio. We have Jake McRae. We have um, Mobius Sky, and we have you guys. Yeah, well, uh, we've played with Jake McRae before, actually. He's very good. Uh, Jake, yeah. Yeah, they've got a really good sound. Uh, they're from Burnley as well, so they're from my hometown. Um, but yeah, they've, they've got a really good sound and energy about them. Like, um, like a, a razor-like kind of feel about That's them. Right, These yeah. things are uh, very enthusiastic. It's really good so. yeah, They've been on the show a few times. It's always good quality stuff they're sending in. Like. What, what is, what's your favourite venues to play in Liverpool? Uh, I think Maguire's is, a, is an absolute favourite for us all. I think with the, the size of the actual the, the room at the back, so you, you can get so many people in there and it's quite a tight environment. It sounds really good. Do you know uh, what? I've never, been, I've never been in Maguire's. I've been to Alden, but I've still yet to set foot in Maguire's. But I'll, I'll have to put yeah. that on my uh, things to do list. Yeah, it's a really good venue. Uh, we've hosted a couple of nights there. Uh, we've played a couple for uh, Jump On Demand. Right. You know, they had, they had Lancaster come across from Barcelona last year. Uh, we supported them. But no, it's, it's a really good venue. The, the sound's always quality and and the people that go in there, they're, they're always up for, for anything, really. It's a really good atmosphere. And what what is it? What is a band that you set out to achieve this year? What what's your hopes this year? You playing any festivals or anything like that? Apart from obviously our one. <laughs> uh, I think yours is the next festival that we've got. I'm only applying for um, the sound festival in Liverpool. That's right. Yeah. Oh, no, we uh, we didn't, didn't make a cut for that this year. I don't think we have enough material. Uh, but like I say we're. we're we're going to try and get this EP out in the next month or so. Uh, try and get that as, as widely distributed as much. And you know, obviously the dreams you know, attract the attention of a, a record company and, and try and get our music fairly out rather than just the region that we actually play in. Of course, yeah. It's, it's very hard to get onto Sound City, though. There's a lot of good bands that can't get on that. It's pretty big, Bill. Yeah. It's, it's gone very commercial, hasn't it? Yeah, there's a, a lot of bands on there you know, who've had record deals for 
few years. That's and, what I'm saying. It's, it's not a, a, a catfish in the bottom end around there, so I was like, exactly. like one of this year's hottest bands, aren't it, really? So I wouldn't, I wouldn't take that too personally. I think um, Hope Fest is definitely worth inquiring about. It seems to be a bit of a ladder of, you know, Hope Fest, and then you've got Threshold, and then you've got Sound yeah. City, and if you work up that way, I think that's the way to go about it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm just going to fire a few quick questions at you now. Some of them are a bit crazy, so bear with me. <laughs> right, we ready to do this? Yeah, yeah. Right. Number one, do you like Mick Hucknall? Uh, I do like to it. Do you? Yeah, yeah. I think, <laughs> I think he's a bit bad on the, on the player. His music's good. And he's got a bit of a bad reputation, but I don't think you can argue with a lot of music that he's written. No, you can't. As a musician, he's good, yeah. I don't think he likes yeah, the yeah. scousers too much, though. <laughs> no, no. I, I think in general, he's a bit of a lad, I think. So, yeah, no, yeah. I like him. Okay. Number two. What's your favourite band of all time? Uh, it's got a bit of Smiths. Absolutely in love with good the Smiths. Uh, Morrissey as well. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, they were one of the first bands that I really got a passion for. And I once I started just absorbing all their music, it's really hard to let go of, I think. So, okay. yeah, I think it's nice to that shadow of a doubt. And uh, what's your favourite shatter blind? What shatter blind do you use? Um, I probably got to be careful here because I think my missus will be listening. <laughs> um, Before but, you met your missus. But, but uh, no, normally, you know, if, if you're in a band, the fact that you're in a band that seems to uh, seems to work for a lot of people, so <laughs> they, uh, the, uh, the old music link to say always a good one. Right, and five, do you like Marmite? Uh, hate it. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> hate it. <laughs> Six, who would you who would you most like to st- share the stage with? Um, I, the editors has always been um, a bit of a dream, really, to, to support them. Love everything that the editors do. Uh, Tom Smith as, as a frontman is probably bit one of the best out there at the minute and as a band that they're really getting there. But now a bit of a local band, Clean Cut Kid. Clean Cut um, Kid, yeah, been, excellent. I've seen them a few times. Uh, seen them support the Cortinas about a year ago. Just love, absolutely fell in love with their music love and, and what they're doing. Yeah, I love me Cortinas too, a big fan myself. Why well, they're not bigger, I don't yeah. know. Um, now, <laughs> number seven, do you think Dom- Donald Trump is an A-class bellend? Absolutely. <laughs> anything Don't... that comes out of the guy's mouth is absolutely either dribble or just filth. Uh, <laughs> can't stand the guy. <laughs> it's just, it's amazing that he's running to be the, uh, the president in it. That's just it. That baff- baffles my yeah. brains, that. I think yeah, Ameri- I Americans need to have a little weird. <laughs> the EU, are you in or out? Uh, in. in. Absolutely in. And why is this? Uh, I think it would be a huge mistake to come out of the EU. I think a lot of people that say out um, don't fully appreciate everything that the, the EU does for us as a country uh, I think they just see a few flash points that, that maybe David, you know, David Cameron has smiled in on TV and, and the news but again a lot of what comes out of David Cameron is, is absolute drivel I don't think it can be, it can be taken at face value at all but no, I'm a definite fan of the EU Sounds and 10 Stone Roses do we like them? Uh, yeah uh, I'm, I'm a bit torn with the roses at the minute. But the old storm roses, I love. Yeah. Love not, the, not too uh, hot on the new stuff. No, I, I don't know. It just seems that they've headed in a different direction. That, that it doesn't seem to fit. Yeah. Um, not that I ever want to slag off storm roses on, on radio. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, it just seems they've taken a bit of a direction, and, and it's not, it's not hitting the right chord for me. It's, what their old material was. Yeah, it's, I, my opinion on it, it's a little bit sloppy. I think they've just thrown it out, haven't they? Yeah, I think the new one, it's got a bit of a TV show jingle. Yeah, it's got yeah. Like a, a real feel to it, like, it, uh, like um, a good theme tune for a TV show, like Reminiscent of Friends or something. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean with that. Right, Scott, I'm going to crack on with the show, mate. Thank you very much for uh, coming on, and I'm going to get your tune blasted for you now. And, Excellent, uh, thank you very much. I will see you on July the 23rd, mate, on our stage. Excellent, look forward to it. Brilliant, good man. See you in a bit, Scott. Thanks a lot, bye. Ta-da, mate.
That was Scott from the Garrison. Here's the drummer. I'm going to give their tunes a blast now, guys. This is called Healthy Competition. Absolute tune. <laughs> We have Alice Nancy with us in the live lounge in about half an hour's time. Until then, guys, I'm going to give you a few tunages. I'm going to start off with this belter tunage by Green Day. It is Basket Case. I know a few of you like a bit of the old Green Day. Do you have the time to listen to me whine about nothing and everything all at once? I am one of those melodramatic fools neurotic to the bone no doubt about it sometimes I give myself the creeps sometimes my mind plays tricks on me it all keeps setting up I think I'm cracking up and am I just paranoid am I just stuck I went to a shrink To have a life my dreams She says it's like a sex that's bringing me down I went to a whore He said my life's a bore Choke with my wife and it's bringing her down So 
Don't 